In this video, we will show you how to use Company Cam's signatures feature. This is an add-on feature, so you will need to ensure this is added to your account in order to send and receive signatures on your documents. This is a great way to request signatures for documents such as work orders, contracts, and proposals, and keep them all in one place. So once that is added to your account, you'll just need to go ahead and locate the project that you want to add the document that you're going to need to send for a signature. In this case, I'm just going to open up this Office Build project, and then you'll just need to go to that document section of your project. Now, as you can see, we have some labels applied to these uh, documents that we've already sent out for signatures. So you can see one of them is already signed, the other is pending, and we have these other two that we have not yet sent out. So in order for me to send out a document, I can either add a document here or for an existing document, I just need to click on the title here and you'll see this blue request signatures option in the upper right hand corner. I just need to click on that and then you'll be taken to this Dropbox sign window. Now we are on the add signers section here. So this is the person who is going to be signing the document. You can also add an additional signer if there's a co-signer for any reason and just type in their name and then their email address. And once you're done there, or once you've added another signer, you can just click on that blue next button. This will then take you to the actual document that is being signed. So over here on the left hand side, you'll see the fields that you can add, uh, as well as a drop down of your document, including all pages contained there. So if you need to go down to that very last page where you're going to need those signatures fields, you can just go ahead and click on that and it'll take you right there. Then I'm going to go back to my fields tab here and you'll see this drop down menu will give you the option for yourself as well as the signer. So you are always going to be defaulted on there. So you will need to include your information as well. So I'm just going to click on me. And then you'll see that I, as the constructor, need to go ahead and add those fields on here. So I'm just going to drag over the signature field into the signature section, and then it will allow me to add my signature. I can either draw that in with my mouse, type that in, or I can take a photo of my signature. I'm just going to type that in today. And you can also change the font of that as well. Once that's done, you can click on the blue insert button and then that will be dropped into the location and you can adjust that as necessary. And then I'm going to drop in that full name field and type that in. And then the date sign section. So I'm just going to pull that in and that will default to today's date. Now that we have all of those fields filled out for myself, I can go ahead and start filling out the signer section. So I'm just going to drop down that menu, click on that other user there and then I'm going to pull over the signature field here and once again they're going to fill that out so you won't be drawing in that signature but then I can once again pull over the name field and the date sign section here so this will default to the day that you send out that document they will not be able to change that You'll also see that you have uh, additional options to add a company name, title, text box, or check boxes. Uh, so if you need them to fill out any of these fields here, you could always drag over that text box and let them add that as necessary. So you'll also see on the right hand side, you do have the option to format that into a different font or a different font size. You'll also see that you have this field name here. This is for backend purposes only. Nothing you need to do there. You can leave that alone. So once you have those fields filled out, you can go ahead and click that next button. Now, if I needed to add an additional signer or something to that effect, I can always click on that back button and add that signer after uh, I filled out those fields there. And then once again, just click on my next button and you'll see that that information is gonna be saved. So I don't have an additional signer in this case, so I'm just gonna click on that blue next button and then we are going to send that out for signature. So I can CC any required recipients on there, and then I will be able to fill out my subject heading as well as my message. So we'll get that filled out. And then 
do note that your subject field will be the name of the document that you are sending out. So you may need to establish a specific naming convention, uh, either the project name, the address, uh, basically whatever you would typically name your documents. So once I'm done there, all I need to do is click on this blue send for signature button and you'll see that that has been sent. And then I can go back to my documents and you'll see that I now have that signature pending label applied to the document until that is signed.